hello welcome back once again today we have this exponential equation and here we'll be solving for the real value of x now let's get started from the right hand side we have 4 to the power of x remember this is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1 to the power of x now this base here we can write it as 2 to the power of 2 then raised power of x this is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1 to the power of x is 1. Since x is real, therefore 1 to the power of any real number is 1, right? Now let us take note of this property a to the power of b to the power of c. We can write as a to the power of c to the power of b. So here this will be 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now let us make the following substitution. We're going to let 2 to the power of x equals k. Now, since we're solving for the real value of x, for x here to be real, then k must be greater than 0, right? So if k is less than 0, then there will be no real solution for x. Now we're depending on solving for the integral, should I call it? No, let's say the value of x, which is the value for k, I mean, we should be greater than zero, right? So that is our major target. So here, 2 to the power of x squared will become k squared. This will be equal to k plus 1. Moving the whole of this term to the left, we'll get k squared minus k minus 1. This is equal to zero. Now make use of the, diff the general quadratic formula. I don't know what is wrong with me today. So here, remember k will be equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac then divided by 2a and here a is equal to coefficient of the leading term which is 1 b is coefficient of k here which is negative 1 and c is equal to negative 1 and solving for k we get negative b is 1 plus or minus square root of so negative 1, b squared is negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 ac, which is plus 4. So we have 5 here, divided by 2. So this is equal to 1 plus root 5, divided by 2, or 1 minus root 5, divided by 2. This is obviously less than 0, therefore we don't need this. Remember, k must be greater than 0, and obviously the golden ratio is greater than 0 which is approximately equal to 1.618, if I'm not mistaken, right? So here, since we have found that k, which must be greater than 0, therefore let us recall back that 2 to the power of x is equal to k. So replacing k with the golden ratio, we get 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus root of 5 divided by 2. Now, at this point here, we're going to make use of the log reading. So let us log both sides. So we have the log of 2 to the power of x. This is equal to the log of 1 plus root of 5 divided by 2. Now let us take note of the following properties of logarithm. The log of a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by the log of a. And also the log of a divided by b is equal to the log of a minus the log of b. So here, this power coming down here will get x times the log of 2. This will be equal to that will become log of 1 plus root 5 minus log of 2. Remember, our log here is in base 10, right? So now, since we're solving for x, let's divide both sides by the coefficient of x. So if we divide throughout by log 2, we can still split the denominator as this divided by log 2 and this divided by log 2, right? So this cancels this. So here we have our x value, that x is equal to log of 1 plus root 5 divided by the log of 2, then minus 1, because this we cancel this. Then take note of this, log of a divided by the log of b, we can write it in, as a single log rhythm as the log of a to the base b. So therefore, our final answer will be x is equal to the log of 1 plus root of 5 to the base 2 minus 1. And this is the right answer. Thank you for watching. Please 
Kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.